All right, so update time. I got me some new additions. This is my newest goldfish. He's a Walmart save. Yes, his tail's a little bent, but he's a beautiful little goldfish, so I'm not going to call him. My golds are doing just fine. I'm going to be doing a uh, water change in this tank tomorrow. I'm going I'm still waiting for everything to settle down to the bottom that way so I can vacuum out everything out and sorry about the noise my father's currently making a lot of racket and there's nothing I can do about it but I also got me a no better for this 10 gallon as you can tell he's near he's almost near pure white like white knight originally was but he has a little bit of a blue spot on his tail fin and this one does not have a tumor so I didn't get him for free but he was an $8 benefit. So let me see if I can give him this move. Give me a second. Out the tube. I want to show you off. Please. Out the tube. Fine. Basically, he looks just like White Knight. He just has that little blue spot on his uh, tail fin. And the one thing that, and the one interesting thing is, once I, when I actually let him out of his little cup, Instead of going after the instead of going after the angels or whatnot, he actually went and rested on that little plant right there and right there in the very back the paint the uh the, the dark purple one. He just sat there and rested there. There we go. Now you can see him. Not excluding the reflection, but you can get a general idea how beautiful he really is. There we go. That's my newest. That's my newest beta for this ten gallon. Since this one doesn't have a tumor and he's a lot more, and he seems to be pretty freaking active, I think he's gonna live a nice long life. So now to this tank. I put in three bags worth of fake plants, and as you can tell, there's a lot more plants in this tank for them to hide in. These guys are doing just fine. Oh, looks like the rams are kind of checking everything out. I know these three love. I know these three are gonna love the more the newer hiding places. I got my little uh, tank inspector right here, don't I? You're my little tank inspector, and you're also replacing Lit Patty because Patty doesn't want to be in my room anymore for some weird reason. So let me give an update on this on the spawn pair. They ended up eating their uh, eggs, which is kind of what I was wanting. And also, one of my Grammys ended up somehow making it in here. Pretty much, I'm pretty sure he made it through that little hole right there. So what am I going? So what am I going to do with these guys? Well, give me a second and I'll show you. This is where Patty tends to stay now. She'll eventually start going back into my room, but not for right now. This is where I'm going to be putting the two angels. So right now, I'm kind of giving them uh, some little places to, to do their spawning again. And I also put this back, and I also put this in there for them to spawn on this if they want. Though, I think I may want to raise it slightly up more. But for right now, it's doing a... Uh, for right now, it's just circulating the whole tank that way so both filters can filter the water properly. There's also a little bit of filter fiber stuck inside there to uh, help with the uh, cleaning of the tank. But this is a 10 gallon tank. I know it's too, I know it's small, but it's the only tank I have. So what I have, so what I've done is I completely is that I've, is that I've uh, relocated the uh, five betas I had in these tanks. I'm keeping one beta. He's going to be in his own little tank down in the next day or so. He's currently in a little better cup because I uh, get his new tank set up. So what I'm going to do is that I have this tank currently cycling. This one, this is this uh, filter here already has beneficial bacteria. And I also have a new filter system. So I'm going to let this tank sit for a little while prior to putting the, uh, prior to putting the uh, angels in. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to let the angels do their thing, and if they end up spawning again, I'm going to have my I'm going to have my other ten gallon set up right here. That way, so when they're done doing their business in this tank, 
I can catch them, put them into the 10 gallon right here, and see if I can somehow raise the fry in this 10 gallon here, and have the father, mother and father right in, this, in the 10 gallon right here. But for right now, I just have this tank set up. I'll be setting up the other 10 gallon in the next week or so. But that's my update for, uh, I guess, the week for my fish channel at least.